Hi, um, I'm Matsy. Oh, you can you can see me wave. Uh, and this is Dark Siders Three, all sins patch two. It's a very complicated and long name for a category, but yeah. And I'm gonna go and start directly ahead. Don't worry, this is not where we actually start the timer because we're setting up a, a wrong warp, which doesn't really uh, like it, it's not getting time for whatever reason. Don't ask me. Anyway, um, so um, what we're doing is, as I said, we're setting up a, a wrong warp. So we're just going to go and start a new game. So this is to verify. This is a fresh save file. Nothing has been played. As you can see, this is empty. This is like just started out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, as you see, I have a controller here. So what I'm going to do is use my controller load a game file and then use my control stick as you see and we can navigate in the menu while having the pop-up this is a menu storage so what i'm doing now is i'm navigating through the menu while i'm loading the save file to load um the save file and start a new it, the game just gets confused and puts me into the void and abyss and we hit a checkpoint and this is basically where the run starts. So, uh, are we ready on the timer? Uh, I just hope we are, and I'm gonna give you a countdown. So, three, two, one, go. All right, Dark Side is three. Uh, let's go. And we're just gonna go and load into the game now, and it's gonna put us at uh, a completely different spot where we're supposed to be. Um, Haven and yeah so this skips a lot already of the game at the beginning it just skips a lot of uh, pathing navigating and everything yada 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 I'm gonna look at the ground to reduce lag because my PC is not very good and yeah I'm gonna quit out instantly here at this ledge and gonna set up the menu storage again because what we're going to do now is save the uh, store of the menu again i'm open up another uh, menu so i can navigate while having this menu up so i just opened my inventory and now i can actually jump we're doing another glitch called red orc glitch basically if you void out and instantly jump after you void it out you can ignore like uh such triggers oh that was tight and because we have a menu glitch uh, yeah, we can just, basically we can dupe items thanks to that glitch. Um, the menu basically has, uh, like the, the thing is like when we interact with an item, we still have control of the character and the item doesn't despawn until we finish the dialogue and, uh, yeah, we can just open this up. And this is, uh, the reason why we're playing on patch two, by the way, you can ledge grab through literally, literally everything as you can see here. So we just go a little bit out of bounds, dupe more resources because we want to just upgrade our weapons as fast as possible. This game is assaults like, so yeah. And, uh, we just completely skip progressing everything. Uh, the thing you've seen like previously, uh, that I duped at the very beginning, that is a, a rare candy, basically. A rare candy, as we know in Pokemon levels, you up. It does the exact same thing here. I just level up and uh, I'm gonna be very OP before I fight the very first boss. Which is funny. But the problem with that is also... Like, like, like there's still a problem with, like, duping and leveling up everything. The thing is, oh, I, I'm going to explain that in a second. So after this, I'm going to open up the menu and that basically resets my checkpoint to where I start the entire segment. Um, so now I'm going to be put up on top of the building or the skyscraper again to uh, like skip platforming and using teleporters, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, it's not a Bethesda game exactly. I just had a glimpse of chat. Yeah. All right. So, um, I will show you in a second. I'm just gonna try to see if I get it. Nice. So this is a cutscene skip. Um, basically we load into this cutscene as you see, and we die at the same time. 
So that just skips uh, a small pop-up. It's faster in game time. It's not really faster in real time. I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, it's uh, speedrunning strats. So uh, this Luminous Visage, as you see, I shattered them all. Now I'm level 65. But here's the problem with being level. I still need to just level up slowly every single point. And I need to level up my strength until level 25. So this just takes a minute. But yeah. So, and we also need to buy ourselves a little bit, uh, a few upgrades. The thing in, uh, we, the thing is I just duped resources and materials uh, for weapon upgrades. But the cool thing is you can just sell the one of those for 5k. So I'm just gonna sell five of them and then I'm just gonna stock up on everything. Two Wrath Shards, three Havoc Shards. Eight strength shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just be safe. And then a few undying shots. Which are just basic safely strats. Oh. And yeah, I'm just going to pop one of the shots just to optimize uh, when I can use them. Okay, so now we're going to go back to Maker's Forge. Oh, by the way, we visited Volgrim here to actually unlock fast traveling. Without visiting him here, you can't use any Serpent Holes or Bonfires if you prefer the Dark, side of, uh, Dark Souls term. Alright, so now I'm going to go into cutscene, go through cutscenes. But yeah, so... To talk really quickly, what I bought is, um, I bought a few different upgrades. I bought a few Havoc Shards. Havoc Shards are used to use, to, to turn you into your Havoc or like True Form or whatever. Um, I use, I got some Wrath Shards to use like for Wrath Attacks. And yeah, you use them like it's, it's just another move. That you can do. Also, it gives you invent iframes, and iframes and fights is pretty nice. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! And we have a maxed out uh, whip already. So, and then, yeah, have a breath shot. Strength shot is it just uh, increases our strength by percentage. And that's uh, pretty good. And I spent. Um, the fastest way of moving in this patch is uh, backwards dashing, basically. And here another thing, because I'm u I have use on mouse wheel, I can dupe a few of those rough shards here. So there's another cutscene, and as I already said, uh, ledge grabs are pretty OP in this game. So I'm just gonna. Uh, oh. oh, that didn't happen in a long time. Right, line up in the corner. Yoink. There we go, and we are out of bounds. Yep. Very solid game. I'm gonna use my undying shot here. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go down here and hit another trigger for another checkpoint or like serpent hole and we just quit out and load back in and we teleported which is pretty nice and as you might have thought i'm just gonna ledge grab this wall here and clip out of bounds to get here grab this wall clip out of bounds and uh now i'm gonna navigate a little bit out of bounds and I'm just gonna be a little bit careful here because you can soft lock in this, like not soft lock, but you, you can get stuck on walls while out of bounds. And this is one of those walls where this can actually happen, and I don't want it to happen. All right, so I'm gonna go and use my strength shots. Well, one right about now because this is the very first boss, or technically the second. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and face tank him a little bit. Because it's uh, a little bit easier for me to just face tank him. Oh, 
And yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. There's a different strat with getting him stuck, but it just you can just face tank him, and he's the very he's the sec technically the second boss, but uh, out of bounds. And yeah, this is the uh, Lord of Hollows who gives us power ups every now and then. Ooh, split. Ooh, that's a good split on my. It's 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 rainbow colors. All right, and yeah. Sorry, said this is uh This is the first boss done. Um as you might know or not know, we are fighting the seven deadly sins, so uh we fight Avarice, Gluttony, Lost, Sloth, Wrath, Pride and Envy. Those are the bosses we're gonna face. And we just did Avarice, so only six to go. And here we're gonna do another out of bounds. So, oh, I'm just gonna load in, and I hit the checkpoint. So now I'm gonna force respawn real quickly. Force respawn lets us keep our undying shards. Undying shards are if you would die, you don't die. You just get a little bit uh, health back, and don't die, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm out of bounds now, and I skipped an entire section. I'm gonna go now to the fourth boss, I think. Yeah, that's the fourth boss. This is uh, Gluttony. It's a boy that is very tanky. So I'm gonna just gonna start swinging on him a little bit. And I'm gonna use my Havoc form because now he would like do an attack that I can't dodge otherwise. And that's a perfect phase one. Nice. So this attack he was about to do is sucking me in and deals a shit ton of damage. Luckily that didn't happen. And the second phase of the fight is a gimmick fight. This is uh, the true form of gluttony. And yeah. Hi. He's a big boy. Luckily we have some uh, torpedoes. So I'm just gonna run right in front of his face. And he's gonna suck the bombs right up. I'm gonna go a little bit back to not get hit by the tentacles. And yeah, it's a little bit too spicy for him. Oh no, 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 oh no. Uh, I was a little bit off with my movement there, but yeah. So this is the second hit we're gonna get in. And then I'm just gonna go and stand up right close to him. And yeah. Use my intact button, which is my mouse wheel for duping stuff, and yeah, that's the boss. <laughs> also, we're using attacks. These, this hammer, this is the force hollow. We don't even have it unlocked yet. We have the storm hollow unlocked, which is the second unlock you get. Normally, you get the fire hollow, f storm hollow, force hollow, and then uh, ice, ice, ice hollow thingy. And we got the second one. And now we're getting the fourth one. Also stay hydrated, chat. And yeah, another cutscene. And there's something actually funny I'm gonna show you in a little bit and explain to you with the cutscenes because one cutscene is completely broken. Why? We don't know. But yeah. Oh, Stasis Hollow, that's the name. Be gone. Envy. No, not Envy, Fury. Alright, also split. Nice. Good time saves. Um, yeah, so we got the stasis hollow. Now we can walk on ice. And I'm gonna pick up another Luminous Visage because those heal you when you use them. So I'm gonna dupe a few more of them in a sec. Just to be safe. Uh, not here really, directly, but in a bit. So we're gonna dash into this corner, hit a serpent hole, or checkpoint, Volgrim shop, whatever you want to call it, through the wall, gonna go quit out, load back in, and we at the uh, Volgrim, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, ceiling, wall, uh, jump, out of bounds. Ah, uh, this jump is a little bit finicky. There we go. 
But yeah, we are out of bounds. Again. And this is a giant lake we traverse out of bounds. So now we actually go to the next boss in the game, which is Lust. Which is the boss you're supposed to fight before Gluttony. Because when you kill Lust, you get the Force Hollow, and the Force Hollow makes you able to walk in water. Yeah, we just do all bosses in the order we want. We can technically do almost any boss at any point in the game, I think. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much the uh, fastest. Oh, not lined up properly. Right, this is the right row. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That's gonna be fun. Should be here. There we go. So now I hit out of bounds. Another checkpoint or trigger for the next area. And this is right before last. So what I'm gonna do now next is I'm gonna walk a little bit back. Because um, walking back means triggering a, a cutscene or, well, a dialogue. And uh, the thing is... When we do this, yeah, as you can see now, a new cutscene starts. But normally, Lust, what am I saying, not Lust, um, Fury would walk very, very slowly here and have a very, very, yeah, she would just walk slowly and it's really annoying. So yeah, this is uh, Lust or... And this is uh, a little bit more tricky, this fight. Uh, the first phase is very simple, but the second phase is, yeah, not so simple. There we go. So now it's... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah, this fight is very difficult. Oh! There we go. Made it anyway. This is a little bit tricky because they sometimes just gang up on you and then, yeah. So, uh, we unlocked three out of four hollows thingies. And now we get the next one. Actually, we're getting two. So... Here's the thing, this cutscene is kind of weird if you don't have the fire hollow, which you're supposed to get after doing the tutorial boss. You just get both four solos if you don't skip this segment of the cutscene. So we didn't skip that. So we end up with having uh, all hollows. So we get two for one. And now we actually can abuse another very, very, very funny interaction glitch in the game. So there's something called force jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we go into the access way. So, as I already said, um, we have the Force Hollow. So, with the Force Hollow, we can do something really cool that is called a, a hollow, a force hollow, like a Force Jump. So, what we're gonna do here is gonna e jump. That's not gonna make it. Oh, okay it one more try so what we can do is we can jump use our ability with the force solo and then and instantly swap while we're doing this to another ability oh nice and we got it and with that you can just uh use two jumps or multiple jumps and ones when you're not supposed to all right so Mm, he has two faces, this boss. First of all, we have to get him off the throne. This is Sloth, by the way. Um, to get Sloth off this throne, we just have to kill the crabs. Uh. But yeah. So this is the phase one, and uh, now he's actually... Oh! I'm just gonna make sure, because I don't want to die. And, alright. Oh, 
come on. I gotta be very perfect now. This is very, very, very difficult. So I'm just gonna focus for a little bit. Nice. Um, I didn't go for every single combo move that I could have gone for, but I wanted to go so. So now we do a few more luminous visages, and because our checkpoint is so far away, I'm just gonna uh, go and die because then we just get automatically teleported back to our last bonfire, serpent, however you want to call it. And we are actually now done with a lot of the bosses, so we're going to go back to Crossroads, and this is now actually the scariest part of the run. So now I'm going to go to Wrath. Technically it's the Wrath refight, because the tutorial boss is supposed to be Wrath, but we kind of skip him. So yeah. And this out of bounds section is very, very scary. And I don't have enough Wrath shots. I'm just gonna pop one here because I'm gonna go for a safe strat here because this out of bounds is very difficult so um, every ability has a, a wrath ability and the wrath ability of ice of the ice hollow is that I block all attacks and oh, I didn't get okay I normally get hit a lot here Time for if you have a donation, you can read one out because that's normally not happening. Yeah, I would like to take the time to remind everyone that there are still some bits going on. For example, there's one for Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak, um, where I can name the character Hamtaro or Bijou. And currently leading is the name Mary for Bijou and the name Larry for Hamtaro. Both are at $25, so if you want to have them name something else, please get in those donations. Yep, a good game. Sadly, I'm uh, sleeping probably when the run is going on, but it's gonna be a fun run. I'm for sure. I'm pretty sure about that. So this is the most difficult out of bound section, and if you fail, you fail. I have a backup safe, of course, if I fail, but I want this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. The nerves. Um, I want this run to be legit because this is a pretty good run so far. Alright, so now my controller will go a little bit haywire. It's okay. And yeah. So this is the out of bounds and we're going pretty much once again directly to the boss. So we're doing a four solo uh, jump, a force jump again. And oh no! And now I'm flying over, and this is the entrance to the next boss. And yeah, I'm just gonna activate the plate, and this is gonna start to trigger cutscene. And yeah, if you have anything else to add, uh, now is the perfect time for it because this takes like I think 30 seconds. Yeah, I want to remind everyone, as we talked about bits earlier, there's still a um, donation incentive going on for Octopath Traveler later in the marathon, where Xenaris uh, will attempt to defeat a secret boss of the game Blightfolded. Um, the secret boss is Dreisang, I believe. It's pretty incredible to see, and we're still $100 away from that. Um, it's about a day away, but if you want to see that, please consider getting in those donations. Nice. Nice chat. Get those donations in. All right, we pop the strength shards because this is the next boss and also probably one of the hardest bosses. And I'm never got aggroed here by a mob before. And this is a very difficult boss, as I already said, because he can just eat you. Okay, I'm not getting the quick kill for phase one. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. That was not good. Not good at all. 
I'm popping uh, this really quickly and uh, one heal and hello there. Oh no, 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 no. And I'm not supposed to be in here, but I am now in here. Oh shit. This is a very, very, very intense fight, actually. No. Yeah. So this was what I was afraid of. Why ever those blades just instantly kill you and ignore uh, that. So let me just do some uh, black magic here. Bloop. This run is no longer legit. Uh, I knew this was about to happen because now we would have to go the entire out of bounds and uh, I'm not gonna do this But yeah, this happens sometimes. It's a stupid bug and I have backups for that So I'm just gonna Rename some save files and oh what magic I'm directly in front of the boss again. Ooh. Okay, but all jokes aside, this is a very difficult boss because of this bug that just sometimes instantly kills you. And yeah, so normally you, yeah, I just, I, I, I took a different shave file. Um, this is below the boss and I can luckily do a four solo jump here. To get back on top of the elevator to the boss arena. So, yeah. This is a good backup, but yeah. I'll pop the Breath Shot already now. And it was so close. That is the most. The thing that makes me angry the most is that I pretty much had the boss down. Uh, yeah, so ref round two this time Please not kill me And please don't aggro me mobs for whatever reason There we go, that is how phase one is supposed to look like At least the, the second try of this boss is better. Alright, so now he's gonna go angry at us. I didn't even talk about the leveling system in this game. I'm gonna talk about it in just a second. Oh. So there are three stats, which is basically a health stat and... Wow! That is a pattern I really rarely get to see. Okay, uh, so now we force respawn. So, um, we have... I'm just gonna open up the menu really quickly to show you. We have three stats, as I already said, like, I think health, basically, a damage, and arcane. Arcane is, uh, yeah, arcane strength, health. Um, arcane is our damage that we do with our special attacks. No. And... Yeah, special attacks, dodge attacks. If you dodge, like if you do a perfect dodge and use your attack move, you get like a special attack that uh, the damage is calculated by your arcane stat. Uh, then you have, of course, your... Uh, Wrath ability and then of course your Havoc ability that is all calculated by how many points you have in that. Alright, so now I'm gonna go wait a little bit to load everything in and this is the path to the second last boss. Alright, didn't get hit. And yeah, this is Pride. Um, Pride is... The second last boss, it's kind of, yeah, Pride's gimmick is uh, sh only if you defeated every single other uh, uh, sin, then you're allowed to fight her. Pride doesn't want to fight you. But there's technically even a, a way to fight Pride early, 
it's banned, I think, in... Uh, I don't know which category, but it's banned. I think it was in patch 1, any person, but yeah. So, now we pop a strength shot. We knock knock on the door. Because we fought everyone and uh, defeated everyone, we are worthy enough to fight her. So, yeah. And, yeah, this is phase 1. Very simple. She often delays her attacks, so very late dodges on her. But that doesn't really matter too much. We just go and yeet and win. Uh, uh. Alright, so I'm using my ref ability again. Oh, oh, no, I don't wanna get hit by the laser so this laser is really annoying and this kind of random where it goes I never had this pattern in a long time oh come on there we go that was a very awful fight so let's not talk about it um, oh that's probably done I I have still a better time than my PB despite me doing so many oopsies, whatever. But yeah, so now everything collapsed as we found out the watcher we got from the. Oh, if you don't want to hear spoilers, just don't listen for 15 seconds. Okay, spoiler warning. So the watcher we got from the council was actually envy, and envy yoinked all deadly sins. Is now like a super sin and. Uh, Envy was the actual tutorial boss we fought at the very beginning, but yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna pop an undying shot. I'm gonna go and force respawn really quickly. The reason, once again, here is simply it's uh, easier. And I'm, I'm getting all my potions back. I'm getting healed up. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. F shoot, I forgot that this would happen because I didn't trigger the checkpoint. Oh, mm. yeah, mm. that's kind of yikes. Anyway, so I'm just going to walk back and pop all the other shots in the meantime. So I still need a ref shot. And while I'm going and hitting this checkpoint here, I'm just going to go real quickly back to make us forge. And yeah. So now we pretty much set up. We have strength, we have everything. Yep, yep. So I'm gonna go for a buff. The reason for that is uh, because there's a cutscene here that we can skip. Okay, and I managed to skip it. I equipped the wrong uh, hollow there for a second. And this is the final boss. Uh, time is when I kill it, and I hopefully kill it. Alright, popped our strength shot. Okay, I used my iframes there to not get hit. Oh. Oh no. This is a very intense fight and... Why am I getting shitty patterns? Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna pop a heal. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus a little bit. Alright, this is uh, not nice anymore. Okay, can I please not get the sh bad stuff? Yeah, I can't believe that this just happened. <sighs> I 
I knew this was about to happen. I practiced this fight so much. And I got like the worst patterns. Well. Time to buy some equipment. From my favorite vendor. This is uh, actually... Uh, good run. It goes horribly wrong. Alright, let's sell my adamantine. And I need a strength shot. Need a rough shot, and I'm good. <laughs> All right, loading in really quickly so I can pop my uh, rough shot. I'm not even looking at the timer. Okay. I'm just not gonna look at the timer. It's fine. It's, Can it's we get some bless RNGs in chat for the second try? Alright, just uh, out of safety, I'm just gonna go and uh, back up my safe air game. I should have done that before. Because I actually don't have it. Like, I, 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 I made backup saves for everything, but not for this fight. <laughs> Which is kind of stupid because it's the most difficult fight. Why wouldn't I get backup saves? Uh, Anyway, strength shots, everything is in order and play. Wait, I don't even need. I, I f just gotta read quickly, skip the cutscene again, so fly over. And again. I don't know if the fight actually instantly sh starts this time or if I still see the cutscene. I hope I see the cutscene. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's focus. Can I not get revolvers for once? There we go, there, thank you. And time is about... Now. Jesus. Woo! Oh, was so bad! Yikes. But yeah, that is Darksiders 3. This game is broken. Darksiders Genesis, the following game, is even more broken. Actually, I don't know if it's more broken, it's just broken. But yeah, um, that has been Darksiders 3. The, sh the community is pretty cool. If you want to uh, learn any Darksiders game, the there's a Discord. The people are all super friendly and helpful. Uh, thanks for having me. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to the Boop Troop. And yeah, I'm gonna go uh, give it over to you guys. And I wish you all a lovely rest of uh, SpeedCon 2020. So, see ya. Also, what is the next run? The next run is Kono Suburashi Sekai no Syoko Fukuwo Fukatsu no Beldia ah, yeah, yeah. by Velare. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah. I, I, I don't have words. Stay hydrated. Don't forget to drink, guys. And yeah, thanks for having me. Intermission magic. <laughs>